What's up, guys? We are Duke of June, and this is our office concert for the Belmont Vision. Hey, I'm Abigail, and I'm here with Duke of June. How are you guys? Hello. Doing great. Doing well. Well. great. So how did you guys get started as a band together? Um, oh, all right. This is the talking story. It first started with me and Jackson. Um, we became friends, like, right when we got to Belmont as freshmen, and we had a class together, first year seminar. And we became friends through that, and then we had music interests, we found out, and just kind of started from there, and we picked up all these pieces along the way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, um, thank you. Um, <laughs> yeah, we, uh, I'm trying to think. So Ben joined, he was kind of like the third. He lived in the same hall I right. lived in. And Jackson and I had, it was, it's all kind of funny how it worked out, because we, the first class I ever went to at Belmont, he was in it, and we met and became best friends, and then we went on from there. Um, and then Ben became available for us, and he wanted to join, so... We started jamming together. Um, Zach also lived in the same hall as me. I lived right. two mm -hmm. doors down from yeah. him and yeah. didn't talk to him the entire year. I know. The last three weeks of school, <laughs> freshman year. Um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and we were trying to do it, get a show together. We needed a drummer, and we heard a lot of good things about Zach. So we started hanging out with him a little bit, started jamming with him a little bit. Um, and uh, then we got Brad, the f oh gosh, like the following last spring. Year. Yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> that Brad made. Um, I met Ben like first day of school too, and then he took me to Potter. Where you, was it Potter? You guys were in? Yeah. Yeah. The hall. Yeah. And I knew Bryce from high school, and it was like all just like weirdly intertwined. And then I met Zach later and joined later. Yeah. Not even knowing funny. Ben was in the yeah. band. And then Emily showed up. <laughs> and then she just. Yeah. 
<laughs> we needed a bassist, <laughs> and Emily was available, and she was great. So, mm-hmm. yeah, we're so I, I slid in her DMs. Yeah. Was. Right. Yeah. That's true, we did. <laughs> it's like, do you want to play bass for us? <laughs> What's great is that, like, aside from just being a band, I these are all like my best friends too. So it's really nice how it has all like worked out that way. Um, it's really nice. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. So tell me about that song that you guys just played. Some mountain sounds I wrote. When did I write that? Like, man, that was like first. Ago, that, was like, that was like. I wrote it a while ago, but we hadn't really put it together until. Like last spring, yeah, it was probably like the summer of freshman and sophomore. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, but I wrote the lyrics first for that, and it's just kind of about a song where you're kind of aware of the situation in a relationship. It doesn't even have to be per se about dating someone, even a friendship, where you know you're putting in more effort than they are, um, and just coming to that realization, I guess, that it might not lead anywhere in the long run. Mm-hmm. So, what are you playing next for us? Uh, the next one will be um, called Turn Around. Turn around. <clears throat> um, actually, also written by Jackson, if you want to talk a little bit about that. Yeah, that one, um, Turn Around, is a more recent song. Mountain Sounds is probably one of our oldest songs that we wrote and have played. Turn Around, we wrote, I think, in this past summer, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, that's right. Um, and that one's just, I don't know, there's a lot of trials and tribulations through life, and it's just a matter of picking yourself up and doing with what you have. And right. progressing. Yeah, and I like the lyric a lot um, coming out of the bridge. That all you control is who you are, which is something that um, I can relate to a lot. Um, just through my parents and growing up, my parents always told me that all you can control is what you're doing in life. And it's a cliche, but it's so true. Yeah. Like, mm, it's not. It's, yeah. so, it's, so, it's so easy. It's a cliche for a reason. People don't know it, though. Yeah, not enough people, I guess, understand that. It's easy yeah. to get caught up in what other people are doing or wondering what people are thinking about you at that specific moment rather than just like doing your own thing. You right, know? exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So what's coming up next for you guys? Um, well, we've been... Show, we got a show soon. Yeah, we do have a show on December 6th, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, we're planning for a birthday, a birthday mm-hmm. gown, which is going to be a lot of fun. Um, we've... Who's that? I don't know. It's I can't remember off the top of my head. Yeah. Yeah. That's, isn't that terrible? Just follow us on Instagram. Yeah, they follow us on Instagram. June June. Boom. <laughs> um, but we've actually, um, we've been, been recording we've, recently. We've been recording. Mm-hmm. We've been doing a lot of shows. So I think the plan for us next is after this December sixth show, we'll still be doing shows, but not probably not as quite as frequent. Mm-hmm. Um, we're gonna be focusing a little bit on recording. Uh, we'll be releasing a series of like five or six singles mm-hmm. in the next, hopefully in the next year. Um, yeah. <clears throat> so that's kind of what we're focusing on right now is recording. Um, we're also gonna try and do a lot more shows outside of Nashville as well. So that's kind of what's in the books for us. And the next coming uh, four or yeah, five months we're or so. Like, we're always writing too, so yeah. like, there's always a new song we're working on. Right. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for coming today. Thank yeah, you for having us. Yeah, thank you so much for having us. It was awesome. It was an honor. People here seem to be blinded by the ones who. Smell the room.